This duct is completely smushed. And then there's a giant hole in it down here. Look at that. That's about a two inch clearance. This is what they make these panels for. Probably should have watched some YouTube videos before hitting this knockout, huh? Got my new eight inch, eight foot flexible duct. I would like to put a straight piece through here so this doesn't rip. But we do not have any. Put a little foil tape around this since I don't have the straight metal piece. Better than nothing. At least now it's not crushing the duct. I'm not completely happy with it, but I do what I can with what I got. Seems level. There's a problem. The other four, the other three straps appear to be, yep, other three straps are good. So we need to replace this, this broke gonna remove the top panel held in by two Phillips head screws and then this pulls up Two screws hold in the lid, one on each side, quarter inch. I have to be careful with the lid lock wires. I'm actually just going to remove this connector from the lid lock so I have more room to work with. I need to get this piece out. In order to do that, I'm gonna lift up on this washer drum, and then once this metal piece is aligned with this slot, I'm going to pull out. I need to push down on this plastic piece while holding the metal rod. With that loose, I now have room to work. I'm gonna push the metal rod into the open slot 
and you can see right here it's starting to come loose right there now you just got to push very firmly on the bottom and then this can slide out remove the t20 this thing just hit me in the head so i am gonna do what i should have done in the first place, just remove this lid. You need to remove this T25 screw that holds in the rubber shock absorber. I'm gonna loosen two of these tabs to lift up on this lid a little bit. Now we can put our rubber piece in, our rubber shock absorber. Here's our newish one. I'm gonna slide this up through the hole first. And this piece goes on pretty simple. You want the open end on the opposite side of the hook. And then this will pull itself in once I put weight on it. Slide in our rubber shock absorber. Relatch this lid. So you hear it snap. All the T25 screw to hold in the rubber shock absorber lift up on the drum there we go All done with this one.